looking into the paranormal veil. Death waits for no one when it calls. Purgatory is the spirit's jail. Built behind the blind man's wall. Catch the specter behind the glass. He repeats the disembodied voice. It all happens when the bones are cast. After death, there is no choice. Looking into the paranormal veil. Death waits for no one when it comes. Purgatory is the spirit's jail. Built behind the blind man's door. Pastors and healers and shamans and poets. We explore the darkened ruins. Bless the good spirits and give them food. Alas, we are coming for you soon. Hello everybody, I decided to come on a daytime investigation because, well, I wanted to, huh? And, uh, so I'm just gonna sit here with the spirits, we're gonna share a sandwich. Uh, spirits, if you're listening, uh, you may come within range so that you can actually taste the sandwich and enjoy it. And I will put some over there uh, by the tree for you, okay? Anyway, uh, so we're gonna have a sandwich, and then, uh, we're going to do a few things and just check around and have some fun. Okay, so we'll see you soon. I'll give you this. I don't know if you can see it or not. Port Arthur Isolation Hospital, established in 1904, 1956. Prior to antibiotics or vaccines, isolations in hospitals such as this were crucial to safeguard the community and health and treat individual restriction with widespread epidemic of killer diseases like diphtheria, polio, smallpox, tuberculosis, and typhoid. Where they refuge once stood in this memorial rests the history preserved in bronze, lest one forget. Polio is crucially remembered by families and loved ones who died and survived polio living in the aftermath. Thunder Bay District uh, Polio Chapter, Ontario Marcher Dimes. So, there you have it. So they had uh, everything from polio tuberculosis hospital here uh, that was taken down in 56. We were here before and I just liked this spot and I, did, I don't think we gave it a fair shake so that's why I'm here. All right, hey, so we had a we had a good time. Uh, we shared the sandwich. Anyway, last time I was here, we got some pretty good responses and stuff. Uh, so I thought, you know, it's been been quite a while. Uh, we did a little bit of a crossing over and stuff like that. Well, or healing of the land, per se. So I thought, well, we'd come back and, or I'd come back and uh, and give it a go. Uh, but this time I'm gonna. I'm going to do a few different things. I want to get the ancestors here and see what see what we can find out. So, uh, one minute. So I've got a few things here. I've got the uh, ancestor stones which I'm going to put out uh, recording. I've got two little duckies sitting in that thing there, just in case any young spirits wants to play with it. And uh, we'll see what happens. I'm also going to put on, uh, right now, I'll put on the, uh, the recorder. 
Hello spirits, if you see this uh, right here, if you talk to it, we can hear you later, we'll listen back later. Uh, we have two little chickies here, if any young kids want to touch it or move it, you're welcome to. There's also a K2 meter, if you touch it, it'll light up, pretty colors. Okay, I got some rods we'll use to talk with, with you, okay, and I've also got this compass, alright. So. There you go. Feel free to uh, move the compass if you like. See a little needle on there? Look. Cool, huh? Feel free to use that. Oh, look at this. Look at Very cool. Can you move it again? Oh, we just had big movement. It went all the way up here and all the way back. Don't know if I caught it because I think the camera shut itself off. Darn it. Okay, if you want to move it, you can. Let me lift this up for you so you can see it better. There you go. Okay. That was on me. Uh, we got some one really good movement with it already. Hopefully, it'll do some more. And there are the birdies and everything else. Okay, so. Alright, now I need to find something to set this up. Feel free to move the lights or anything, guys. Or the compass. Really appreciate it if you did. I hope you enjoyed your sandwich. I thought it was very good. Say ya, say ya, say ya. Say ya, say ya, say ya. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya. Say ya, say ya, say ya. Say ya, say ya, say ya. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya. Grandfather, I ask that you join us. I know that I am far from my sacred bones of my ancestors, but I could use your guidance and counsel. I join you, Grandfather, on this field of salt and earth so that we may communicate. I place our family stone so that any of the good spirits who wish to chit chat or talk or show stuff may do so in confidence and in safety. I offer the stones of my grove and Utubians with all the beautiful little dots on there. <laughs> I offer them and ask them to help us and to join us. And I ask both your totems and my totems to join us as well. See you, see ya. If there's any spirits here, would you care to light up the K2, please? All you gotta do is go near it and the lights will change. So if you could do that, I'd appreciate it. I know uh, we haven't been here for about a year and we left the door open and they released for all the good spirits that they wanted to leave and stuff so I don't know if anyone's even here uh, but if you are uh, we would like to hear from you and see how you're doing okay I am going to now see if I can set this up so I don't have to hold it <laughs> I think that's working. So if you would like to move the compass, the arrow there, you can move that. Of course, I can't leave it up like that because... Because it'll make it not right. <laughs> And of course, you may speak into here. We'll check. We'll we'll check in that later. Or you can move the compass. So it's a beautiful day, spirits. I wonder if you would agree with me on that. Any good spirits, you know I have a grove now, so if you wish to go there to energize, if you're a good spirit, you may enter. Uh, keep in mind it is 
super holy ground and it's very well protected so if you're not a good spirit you don't want to go there because <clears throat> even if you're a bad spirit I don't want you to get hurt so please don't go there um, because it is very very strong there okay so if, if you you know but if you're a grumpy spirit and you need to get forgiveness or to you know release the anger feel free to go there Sometimes it's, I suppose we have anger issues and stuff we can't let go of. So it makes us seem like bad people. We're, we're really not. We're just hurt, right? Sometimes. It's nice to know there's a place you can go and, and get rid of that pain. So, I've got the Raptor box here somewhere okay and I'm gonna put it on <coughs> so if you guys wish to talk through that you can all right I'm gonna try to keep it in view if it doesn't affect any of the other equipment we'll see what happens uh, because we've got to watch the other equipment right we don't want any false positives so if you want to move one of those little chickies for me they're pretty steady. See, they don't fall down. You can bang the... They ain't going nowhere. They're very steady because their feet are really big. <laughs> and they're very light. I mean, wind could knock it over, but we're sheltered here, so we're good. No wind to worry about, nothing like that. Alright, okay, here's the rafter box. We'll put it on. Hello, how are you? Hello, friends. So who's here with me? Who's standing just like by the fence there? Can you please tell me your name? Yeah, I see you. I said, see me? Say it again? Sorry, I don't want to talk to you. What's your name? Yes, dear, you can tell me your name too. There's a female and a male here. Tom? Did you say Tom? Louise and Tom? And David. Hi, David. Hi, Louise. Hi, Tom. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. How are you guys doing? Well, that's good. I'm Danny, by the way, in case you don't know. Yeah, my name's Danny. I was here before to try to help anyone that might have wanted to move on. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, hey Doug, hi Doug. I remember you. Weren't you the service, uh, the young serviceman, Doug? Hello. You were the service guy I talked to last time, weren't you, Doug? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, that's it. Yeah. You said you chose to stick around? Do you choose around or do you guys just come and visit the now? Visit? Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. I'm glad you're not stuck. Mom's good. <laughs> yeah, it's Danny. As long as, long as you... Uh, as long as you just come for a visit, I'm happy with that. Yep. Yep. Oh, my? Oh, I'm good, thank you, dear. Oh. Well, hello. See? 
That youngster came right up close. I don't know if you heard him laughing. Oh, what's your name, though, buddy? What's your name? Kim. Kim? You say Kim? Kimmy. Hi, Kimmy. That'd be nice for confirmation if you guys need the light come up. Hi. I'm not going to be here too long. It's just, uh, just thought I'd come for a quick investigation and get the cobwebs off, you know. Fence there. I might be able to put the camera on there. You want me to try? You want me to try to do it that way? Yeah? Okay, I'll try. Yeah? Okay. Okay, you want to try these? Up to you? Yeah? Okay. <coughs> well, I hope you can see my hands and everything, guys. Okay, spirits, can you show me a yes, please? Good job. Okay, go back to the center. Go back to the center. Thank you. Are you all here just visiting? Yeah? Okay, thank you. Goodbye. There you go. Yeah, would you like me to use some tobacco? No? Okay. Sorry, hands. My fault. My bad. Oh, yeah, there you go. Is there anything else you want to talk about? There is. Okay, what do you want to talk about? You want to talk about peace? No? You want to talk about the old hospital? You do? Okay. How was that hospital? Was it, were the nurses and everybody good there? Was it a nice hospital? I mean, as far as hospital, okay, yeah. As far as hospitals go, it was okay. That's good. So, I heard they, they did their best to treat you well. Is that true? Were they good nurses? Yeah, the nurses were good? Yeah. Oh, the doctors. Did you like the doctors? <laughs> no? Didn't like the doctors, huh? No? Did you like the nurses, though? No. Did you? You did? Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Get back to center. Back to center. Is that because you thought the nurses were cute? Is that why? Oh, I see. Uh-huh. I see how you are. How you are, he says. <laughs> ah. That was good. So you see how you are, right? Eh? Oh yeah, okay, okay, relax. <laughs> okay guys, I just want to, what? You want to point to where you are? Go ahead. Point where you're standing. Over there, over there. Now if that's right, use the other one. Make a line up, point where you are. Nice job. Very good. Yeah, I see you over there by the second pole. Yeah? Okay. At the center. So do you want me to see you by the second bowl? Is that what you what you, what you wanted? Yeah? Okay. Sometimes the spirits just want to make sure that you notice them. Or that you see them. Or you feel them. Just so that they know they exist, you know. Um, they know they exist in their plane, but like us, we want to know they exist, we want to know they exist, right? Sometimes they'll do things like point to, to where they are. They're pretty, pretty good that way. Okay, so, hey, wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. Thank you. Can the Utopians use their eyes to find different things that people want? And if that's a yes, make the other one do the same thing, please. Line it up. Line it up. There you go. So the YouTubes can use these things as pointers, correct? Wow, that's definitely correct. So there you go, guys. 
You know, sometimes you'll be in a graveyard or whatever, and you're looking for someone, someone's talking to you on your spirit box, you want to find out where their grave is. You have a rod, you can hold them like this. And ask them, point, point me to where you are, okay? Um, Doug, can you stand over by that camera? Thanks, brother. Okay. So, it's Doug we're looking for. Okay, so say you're in a cemetery, you're talking. I don't know where the person is, what's great to him. Hey, could you point me your, your way? Oh, look at that. See how that pointed right at the blue? That's exactly where Doug's standing. Okay, I can move this hand around a million times just to show you. Alright, now, could you light it up if that's where you are, Doug? Can you please line that up for me? And point exactly where you are. See now, the back was adjusting as well as well as the front, but now they're exactly parallel. So, they say, yeah, I'm over here. <laughs> anyway, I hope that, I don't even know if my head's in the shot or anything, but, um, so there you have it. All right, spirits, thank you for the communication. We'll talk to you later. Actually, I'll leave you on for a minute. Now, let's go back over here. <coughs> I don't know how much of that it's actually going to be usable, but I did my best. And it sounds like they shut off this speaker over there. I'll go check. You guys done talking? Yeah, no more words? Okay, so as you can see, it's on full volume. The thing's going, no sound. Okay, which means it's scanning. It's doing its job, but there's absolutely no static. Now, for 10 minutes, we were talking. And now it'll come back on. Is there something you want to say? All right. So as you see, it works when it wants to. All right, I'll just put you here, and if you want to say anything, you can. Um, but we're not going to be here long. Oh, no, now it's shutting down. Look at this. It's shut off. All right, so I think the spirits are done. They're done with me. <laughs> so hang on a minute. It was a pretty good investigation. I enjoyed it. Um, I think we got some good responses and stuff. I'll, I'll gotta double check when I get home. Um, but it looks like the spirits are done talking for today. The they shut off the uh, the raptor. <laughs> First they shut the sound off. Uh, and then I tried to show you that I didn't do anything that was on full, but it just decided we're not talking no more. And then it shut itself off after I got to show you that part. So, uh, disprove that. That's all I can say, disprove that, you know. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna pack up here and I'm gonna head back to the house and uh, start uh, editing this. And uh, take care, okay? Now remember, take care of yourselves, take care of your family. Watch out for ghosts, <laughs> and have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.